Anders, you've, you've covered a lot of campaigns. What strikes you about this one? Mainly that it's about nothing. It's a campaign without a purpose and without a theme. Uh, from the very start, you can say that the government issue uh, have been the kind of core issue in the campaign. Who should govern? Who should be prime minister? Uh, it started off with the forest fires, as you said in your introduction. Uh, we have seen forest fires all, all over Sweden, basically, mostly in the northern part. Uh, and that changed the dynamics of the environment as an issue. I think most people thought that this should be an election about migration because of the migration crisis in 2015. But I would say it's a, a migration is there still, but environment is also there, healthcare is there, uh, hot schools are there. So you can say that there is no clean issue. There's not a kind of one purpose in this campaign. And that's, that's a very big difference from previous campaigns, because that means that there, that's not one single issue that the voters will decide on. So you will have a, a very crowded field. You would have eight, par eight parties in parliament, and that will necessarily create a situation for the next government, which will be quite, quite problematic to form the government, but even more problematic to get the policies through. Because the Sweden Democrats have this time said that they will not accept being passive uh, supporter in passive supporter role of any government, which means that they will claim policies, they will ch claim changes in the Swedish uh, political um, in is certain issues. And that is historically completely unacceptable for all other parties. There is a kind of cordon sanitaire between the other parties and the Sweden Democrats.